in this example, we've got all these transaction IDs. We know there's duplicates in here, but we need to find out where they are and what they are. We want a unique list of the transaction IDs. So you can do a remove duplicates if you want, but you can also use a pivot table. So we insert the pivot table. I'm just going to put it in the same worksheet for now. And then all I do, the moment I drag transaction ID into rows, it is immediately the unique listing. So you'll see here that's 100, 1, 2, 3. There's another one here. But the whole point of this section is to only show the unique items. So you immediately have a unique listing here. For the second part of the question, we want to know how many duplicates does each of these have. So what we can do, we can pull any one of these through, but I'm going to take the transaction ID, put it into values. You'll see immediately it assumes you want to sum it, but in this case it's wrong. So we're going to change it to account. And now not only can we see the unique listing, but we can see which have duplicates and which don't.